Hi, and uh, welcome to um, another Lewis art video. This again, we're out plein air painting, and um, I'm down at Westwood Ho today, and uh, it's it's nice down here. The clouds over there are a little bit grey, I'm a bit worried about getting rained on. So I've bought extra layers, but at the moment, it's actually really nice. Um, I want to say thank you again before we go too far into the video um, for everyone who's commenting and liking and subscribing my videos. It, it really is uh, making a making a, a big difference to me. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can see new videos when they come out. I try and put a video out once a week on a Thursday. Um, so thank you to everyone who's sort of given me some advice and uh, encouragement as well because it's it really makes a difference actually um, having people even if it's just to say nice painting or, or thanks for the video it, it does make a difference and um, I guess when I make the videos what I'm really trying to do is just put something out that people might want to watch and enjoy and it doesn't necessarily mean that you enjoy painting you might just enjoy the scenery you might just be interested in the North Devon coast you might even be interested in coffee I don't know so we're out today I'm gonna to get a canvas out we're gonna get painting somewhere along this coastline and then uh, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes today but, uh, let's rock and roll I don't think I've got any rock and roll music, so um, thank you for that. Let's acoustic guitar. So we're over at Westwood Ho. In the distance, um, you can see um, Baggy Point, and um, you can drop down there. Into, there's Croyd, and then you come around here and through. Sort of, um, you've got Saunton Sands Hotel, the white, the white hotel over in the distance, and then on towards Braunton and the Braunton Burrows and into Barnstable. And it, there is the mouth of the estuary. Um, so there's Insto in that direction, Appledore in that direction, and then this brings you down through um, Sandy Mere and then down into Westwood Ho. And so that's Westwood Ho over there in the distance. Here's an interesting example of um, gradually, bit by bit, the, the coastline eroding away. Um, that's made quite an interesting little little shape, actually. That hasn't it? Slightly random. Literally just two seconds before I switched the camera on was a rabbit who just ran across into the hedge there. So I'm gonna reenact it for you. Um, here we go. Oh, oh. It was it was like that. I don't think that's the noise it made. Um, yeah, but it's gone now. All right. I started thinking maybe what I should do is try different coffees and do a coffee review within my videos. Roast ground coffee, decaffeinated. 
I don't know, I'm just making it up as I go along. Uh, so that's a sinkhole. Um, which obviously, bit by bit, it's kind of slowly disappearing. I don't, I'm not that comfortable sitting here, but you can sort of see how close we are to the coastline. Um, yeah, look at that. I wonder how long it'll be before that gets fenced off. That's very nice down there. Uh, it's been quite, um, I've, I've literally been here for about an hour so far and walked about 200 meters. Um, and it's mainly because there's just so many people out uh, chatting today. I mean, it's been great. I've bumped into an old acquaintance from uh, a previous job, which was really nice. I started speaking to a, um, a retired couple sat on the bench, um, sort of telling me they've been coming down this way since 1974. And it turns out the, um, it turns out the gentleman uh, did a bit of did a bit of painting himself in the past, um, mainly acrylics. But you know, so that was a conversation right there. Um, yeah, so stopping and chatting to people. I uh, haven't really got very far, but you know, not to worry. I'm enjoying it, so um, it's nice. The weather's okay. Just love uh, that out there, and those beautiful uh, lines in the ocean. The fantastic t different colours out there. Really, quite something. And of course, out further out over yonder, further out over yonder, there's Lundy Island. You know, you, it, this sort of thing really gets to me. You got this beautiful bench here, um, put there in memory of these people, and right down in front of them, somebody has let their dog go to the toilet and then not even bother to pick it up. I mean, what the hell? I don't do a lot of this walking with the camera malarkey. Um, there's too much rattling and stuff going on, but it, um, I've got a place in mind a little bit further down that I'm thinking I'm going to stop at. Um, I saw someone else painting there, interestingly enough, um, when I came for a walk back along. And this easel is just bashing my leg. Um, getting quite a few bruises off this easel, actually, funnily enough. But it's all worth it because. Um, you know, I'm not walking too far, and then once I get there, I'll, I'll find a nice spot. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's all right. I don't mind, really. Ow. 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 Wow, flies. I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy this if I've got this many flies hanging around me. Um, to be fair, that's, that, that is quite normal. But there are literally thousands of them around here. Um, but I found this sort of spot here. It's just a bit, oh no, can't cope with flies landing on me. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to stay here. Um, these flies are grim, just grim. And I'm not liking it. It's creeping me out a tad. So I thought I was going to stay here. But I'm not liking the fly, so I, I might just move on. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Beautiful view. I'm thinking about pitching up here, but I don't think that bird wants me to. Um, yeah, a little bit unhappy about me being in this spot, but um, I think, you know, I'm just kind of walking down further and further, not really getting anywhere now. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'm just going to pitch up here and I'm just going to paint and I'm just going to put something out and then we'll see where we are and I think I'll just yeah look at something like this for now and try and there he is it's back yeah he doesn't like me being here um, I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna go for it set up and then uh, see what we see where we are
Um, so as usual, I've got a 8x10 canvas um, made by Arteza. 100% uh, cotton, 8 ounce primed, blah blah blah. Um, I've got loads of these, so I'm still working my way through them at the moment. Um, but I'm going to put that up and uh, yeah, then we'll rock and roll. So round the back, I've got my cloth, I've got my paint thinner and uh, cleaner. And also in, a, in my pot, I've got a little sponge with some paint thinner on it. And then I've got, as well, I've got my uh, cocoa um, tub. Um, and then of course I put my bin bag through the middle so that I'm making sure that I take all my rubbish away with me. However, I do only have one clip today. So there we go, there's my setup at the back. Uh, let's have a look at what paints I'm using today. So the paints that I'm using today, in no particular order, uh, just to mix things up, Sap Green, Viridian Green, Alizarin Crimson, Ultramarine Blue, Titanium White, Yellow Ochre, uh, oh, it's doing so well, uh, Cadmium Yellow Hue, uh, Lemon, Cadmium, Cadmium Lemon, and Cobalt Blue. Well. Two things have happened in the time that I was going to have a coffee. Um, one, uh, I bumped into a, a lovely lady who I, uh, I sold a painting to actually um, a few years back. So we just had a chat. Um, still hanged, still got the painting hanging up, um, which is very cool. And um, two, the flies are back. They are everywhere. I don't know what. I don't know what it's about. I don't know why they're here. They weren't here ten minutes ago. It's just a nightmare. Gross. So now it's time to try out a fly free coffee. <laughs> I wonder if they're attracted to the oil. And they are amazing. Here we go. Um, coffee today is I'll try and take a photo and put the brand up. So that's the brand. It's actually decaf. Um, very often when I'm feeling quite anxious, I tend not to drink caffeinated coffee because it strangely makes me more anxious. So at the moment, this is decaffeinated coffee. Cheers. Do I keep my mouth small so that the flies don't go in? That's nice, that's nice. So, I really don't like flies, it's, uh, so I'm gonna just try and ignore them and get a sketch done. Okay, so here's my sketch, it's very quick and quite light, so I'll try and darken it off now as I draw. Um, so you've got the, the land there going off in the background and then the sea divide there. Then there's the lighter blue and haze there, um, and then it goes into deeper blues in the sky. And we've got the sea that's running in here and a few tones going across there. Sorry, a few tones going across there, and then we've got the... the uh, the rocks down the bottom here sort of jutting out this way so it's kind of something like that um, I've sort of done that quick to get a, get that going but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the um, the oils onto the canvas so I've instantly hit a problem trying to get the line of these rocks because it's pretty flat and I'm kind of already doing an angled thing so I've kind of I've got to be careful with that it sort of runs across here and then the rocks build up into that, but they're flat. So they're not, they're flat. So they're not kind of jutting out in a diagonal. They're kind of going across side on, uh, a bit like so. Hmm, I need to look at this for a minute. So take a look at this. <laughs> it is an absolute um, jungle fest, right? It's, a, it's an absolute chaotic mess at the moment. Maybe I haven't got my painting mind into gear yet or something, but um, it's a bit 
it's a bit all over the place. This could be a shocker. Um, I don't know which bit to start with first. I might push some sky in and, and come down the painting for a change. Maybe then go to the sea. Um, yeah, I'm not, sh I'm not really sure. I might go sky, I might go down the painting today. Yeah, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down and see how that works. <laughs> say that no flies died in the making of this video but unfortunately several of them decided to land in my oils um, what's a man to do I just flick them out really shocking shocking uh, so I'm zipping along here um, obviously the next bit to do um, is to bring the rocks in. I've done, I've, I've kind of got it wrong because I, what I could have done was brought it down a lot lower, had more cloud and then less of this. Um, but I, that's what I've done now. So I kind of got to adjust and work to that. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to try and bring those, um, try and bring those rocks in a little bit. Just spread that out. Yeah, keep going. So I'm going to try and hold the, ca the camera whilst I do this bit. But here's the benefits, right, of having shaky hands. When I try to draw a line up, it kind of just provides this nice kind of jink, sort of, as the rocks are jaggered, I'm just literally just rolling the brush over. Uh, not doing much more than that. Yeah, the advantages of having a shaky hand. I like it. It's kind of coming in useful. the clouds start to change um, I'm gonna just tidy up the land here darken this edge here um, and then sort of level that sea out there a little bit there you are, I've done that um, and then it's starting to look at the white of the waves and things which I'll get in with a palette knife and do in there and then some reflective water and things coming through and then I think um, I'm gonna just kind of stop there because you know you can overdo these things for sure um, but yeah so it's, it's coming along it's coming along okay um, tried to change the tone up in here with the rocks across there and then with the reflective bit of water coming through that'll be quite nice and then some a little bit of wa some waves there yeah um, we're on our way we're on our way Um, in terms of, I'm using a plastic palette knife and it, um, in terms of just kind of adding in, in waves, I'm going to be too specific. Well, what I'm not doing because I'm holding the camera is cleaning the palette knife so much. So be a little bit careful of that. I don't want to get too messy. That looks all right, nearly there, I think. Just, uh, so I think I'm gonna stop there. I've put more in than I meant to, um, partly because I was holding the camera, but I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, it's, it's acceptable. Um, and uh, yeah, um, 
And it's been quite nice, sort of stood out here doing this one. Occasionally attacked by the flies. I've got Clavelli in the background there. It's a bit of a gap in the line here. Um, but I, I'm not too worried about that because, you know, it's just, again, it's they're just practices. I'm going to add a bit of white to the sky, a bit of cloud. Um, and we'll see how that looks afterwards. And then um, I'm going to have a coffee, tidy up and call it quits, I think. Uh, so there we go. Um, I'm going to stop there. Uh, yeah, it was nice. It was enjoyable. The rain is pushing out. There is, um, yeah, a chance I'm going to get wet if I'm not careful. Oh, careful. Nearly blew up. Um, nearly blew away. Um, yeah, so there's my finished piece for today. I'm going to put that away and then uh, have a coffee, pack up and then head home. usual canvas can go into my um, homemade canvas box just slots in there nicely there you go and that can go away in the bag Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this or any of my other videos there are a number of ways you can support me in the future. Like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now you can even donate on my Buy Me A Coffee page. As you can see from my new videos, I love coffee. But your donation will do more than just keep me full of caffeine. Every donation will go straight into buying new art materials for future projects so your help will be truly appreciated. It's easy to use. Simply follow the link and you can donate as little as two pounds to help out. Feel free to leave a comment and there's even a link to my website. Your support really does go a long way to helping me to create more art in the future. Thanks.